Hi, Robert Curry once again. We're continuing our discussion on duct and system design. I want to give you some of the elements of a duct system and how they're actually put together so you can kind of get a visual of actually what happens inside a duct system with airflow. What I'm holding right now is called a collar. This is a five inch collar and it's uh, uh, crimped on this end. We have an operator that actually will operate our damper. As you can see that move back and forth. And when the dampers in the open position are installed, it actually installs in the side of our fiberglass duct. Kind of like this, we'll, we'll cut a hole in the duct and this will slide in. Once this is slid in the duct system, this is uh, designed for inch and a half duct. Once it's slid in the duct system, we simply reach through, we grab the fingers and we open the fingers up. This helps hold the collar in place. This is not a permanent hold, but this will allow us at least it will hold it in place long enough for us to seal the outside of it uh, to the actual duct itself. One of the interesting things about uh, this top collar is the damper on the inside. We're actually able to open and close this damper to uh, allow more or less airflow. We very rarely will ever recommend a customer close the grill uh, through the operator that we looked at earlier when we were talking about the different types of grills. One of the problems that we find when we close the grills are air noise. So we close the grill and sometimes the grill will whistle because there's simply a lot of air out of there. When a system is properly designed, we're actually able to set the airflow uh, through the operator right here as we move this back and forth. It opens and closes this damper. Uh, we don't have any noise at the grills when this is done. On this end, the crimped end, we actually slide our flexible duct over and we use a, what's the, uh, the best way to describe it is like a big wire tie uh, plastic strap that will strap this duct and hold the inner liner to this uh, duct. The outer liner with the insulation will go over and will match up right up against the duct. This will create an air seal that we won't be leaking air and we won't receive any condensation or any drips below uh, due to the fact it's just like uh, walking outside with a glass of ice tea during the summertime, our hand gets wet because of condensation. Condensation can form on these collars and start dripping. If we see dripping, this is going to be the result of an air leak. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Robert Curry, Innovative Air Solutions, 409-883-9616.